In this video, we'll be looking at how to calculate the volume of a cuboid. First, let's quickly recap what we know about dimensions. Here, I've got a point. It has no dimension. I can extend this point in one direction and end up with a line segment. This is a one-dimensional object. I can measure its length. In this case, I've drawn it on a grid where the squares have side length of one centimeter. So we can see that this line segment is five centimeters long. Now I can extend the line segment in a second direction like this. Now I've got a rectangle. This is a two-dimensional object. To measure how much space it takes up in two dimensions, I need to measure its area. On this grid, each square has an area of one square centimetre, which we write like this. We can count 15 of these squares in this rectangle. So it has an area of 15 square centimetres, or 15 centimetres squared. You should be familiar with the shortcut you can use when you have rectangles, however. Instead of counting squares, we can multiply the length by the width. In this case, I can find the area by working out 5 centimetres multiplied by 3 centimetres, which gives me 15 square centimetres. Now, we can extend this rectangle in a third direction to form a three-dimensional object like this. This is a cuboid. If we want to know how much space an object takes up in three dimensions, we need to work out its volume, and that's what this video is about. In these examples, we need to find the volume of each of the cuboids. Now, the first cuboid is actually a cube with side length one centimetre. It is one centimetre long, one centimetre wide and one centimetre high. We say that its volume is one cubic centimetre or one centimetre cubed, which we write like this. Let's move on to the second cuboid. This is two centimetres long, four centimetres wide and three centimetres high. To find its volume, we need to work out how many cubic centimetres would fit into a box this size. In other words, how many of these yellow blocks would fit into this? If you imagine looking at this shape from above, you'll see the tops of these eight blocks. That will look like this. You can either count the tops of these eight blocks or you can multiply two by four. Now, there are eight blocks in one layer of this cuboid, but the cuboid has three layers. We can build up the layers one by one like this. Hopefully you can see that we have three layers of eight blocks. So there are three times eight blocks in this cuboid, and that means we can fit 24 of these yellow blocks in here. Three times eight is 24. So the volume of this cuboid is 24 centimetres cubed, or 24 cubic centimetres. Now we can use a formula to work out the volume of a cuboid. It is simply length times width times height. And this will work as long as those measurements are all in the same units. In this case, all those measurements are in centimetres, so we can multiply them together and we end up getting a volume of 2 times 4 times 3, which is 24, 
and multiplying centimeters by centimeters by centimeters gives us centimeters cubed. So we get the same answer that we worked out by thinking about blocks. So this formula is really useful. We can use this to work out volumes of cuboids and this will work even if the measurements aren't whole numbers of centimeters or meters or anything like that. By the way, if these measurements were in meters, then the volume would be in meters cubed rather than centimeters cubed. Here's another cuboid. Pause the video and see if you can work out its volume. Here's what you should have got. We saw a moment ago that the volume of a cuboid equals length times width times height. First, let's make sure all the measurements are in the same units. Here, yes, they are. They're all in centimetres. So we can work out the volume as 5 times 7 times 12. And if we work that out, we get 420. And in this case, the units are centimetres cubed or cubic centimetres. 